Hey guys, I made a two-piece set of a wall mirror and a flower vase. This was an idea that I learned while watching construction going on on sites that was a while ago. But then the turnout is so pretty and it's so easy to make. The main item for all these projects that you're gonna be needing is a non-sanded grout. I got this from Home Depot. Now I'm gonna be using trash bags as my surface so that I don't make a mess. Now this is what the grout looks like and I'm gonna be using my craft stick as a spatula so I can just mix it up and using water. I'm looking for a particular consistency so I'm just gonna keep mixing and you're gonna be putting the water gradually so it doesn't come out too watery. Now this is the consistency that I'm looking for. It's perfect. And for the vase, I will be using this container that I have at home and I will be applying the grout all around the container. I didn't really care about the mess, but if you're gonna be doing this, please wear disposable gloves when applying the grout. I'm gonna be doing this all around until I get a certain thickness because I'm gonna be making a design on it so it has to be thick enough. And you're gonna be covering the top also where you have the cover that's going on with the lines, you have to cover that too. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to keep doing this until I have the whole container covered in grout. The thickness that I'm going to be making on it would be around a quarter inch. That way I know that the design that I will make on it would actually show much clearer. I think I'm okay with this thickness. And you can make yours even thicker because the thicker it is, you're going to see the designs even more. Now I'm going to be taking a sponge and water to smoothen it out. The sponge should still have a little bit of water so that way you know that it's going to clear out the lines without leaving marks on it. I'd like to say at this point that I am not a pro or should I say a professional at this. So if you know any other method of doing this, then you can go ahead and use it. This is what it should look like and I'm going to be taking this glass candle holder to make the design and all I'm doing is just forming grooves and I'm just going to be putting the candle holder slightly inside and carving it out so I can have some coming out to form a certain pattern and I'm going to try to make it as uniform as possible. When I was done with the design, I used my hands and a little bit of water to smoothen it all out. And as I was doing this, I was increasing the size of the hole, just to make sure that it comes out more and to give it more depth. When I was done, this is what it looks like. And I let it out to dry. Moving on to the mirror. Now I cut a circle out of a trifle board and then I used my 10 inch mirror in the middle as a guide. So I have an inner circle that is 10 inches. You can use a compass for this. That's gonna be five inches in radius. So then I took my trash bags just to cover up the surface that I will be using. And then I'm gonna be applying the grout to the outer parts of the board and making sure that it doesn't touch the middle part. That's going to be for the mirror. I'm going to be repeating the same thing like I did for the vase by trying to get a thickness of a quarter inch.
As I was applying this, I realized that I came out of the line just a bit, so I will be using my hands just to push it back to make sure that I can still see the line. When I was done, I took a sponge that I soaked in water and squeezed it out just a little bit. And I'm going to be using it to smoothen it all out, just like I did for the vase. I did the same thing for the outer corners also. I'm going to say it again that I am not a professional, and so I learned most of these techniques while watching construction going on in sites. When I was done with that, I took the same glass candle holder to make grooves to form the design like I did for the vase. This was what I saw and then I love the way it looks but then I wanted mine to be wide because I was making a round mirror. So then to achieve the grooves to be wider I had to use a wide glass candle holder so it can be deep and you would be able to form a sort of curve and a hole and then it kind of meets somewhere in the middle, just like you see it here. I know it doesn't look the same, but then that's the concept, to make sure that you pull it out until you find a line in between both holes. When I was done making out the pattern, this is what it looks like. And then I let it out to dry. These are cracks that you may see and I think it's because of the mixture, I'm not so sure yet. So I'm going to be using Mod Podge all around and you can only apply this after it's dry. The Mod Podge acts as glue and it's so that I can seal in the cracks and to also increase the shine. And I did this for the vase and the mirror. Now if you're someone who's into earth tone decors, you can just leave it the way it is. But then I spray painted mine silver. I'm so happy that I was able to convert a container that I had just lying around at home into this beautiful vase. You can see that the vase shines a whole lot and that is because of the Mod Podge. Now you can see the lines that you usually see on a cardboard that's showing on the mirror and that adds to the texture of the overall design. The pattern on the vase and that of the mirror are kind of different and I made it that way because I wanted to see some kind of contrast between the two. I used silver for this but you can definitely use gold oh my gosh gold would look really cute on this now let me know in the comment section below which of the two you like is it the vase or the mirror and remember to like and share and also remember to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos thank you so much for watching i have other videos linked in the description box below do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button